Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome back to Queen Cup Tarot. I am just shuffling up right now, or at least trying to. <laughs> Getting ready to do your year-end December 2019 tarot readings. Um, for those that are new, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. It's much appreciated. Um, for those that are returning, thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and positively engaging the channel the way you do. It's much appreciated. I love you guys. I fucks with you the long way. Um, I do have a couple of announcements, so if you want to um, bypass the intro, just look in the comments below. Angel Gang's really good at timestamping the reading prior to the prayer. For those that are new, we timestamp the reading prior to the prayer because we acknowledge the reading starts when the prayer does, all right? Um, but yeah, I am, uh, for those that book personal readings with me um, or would like to see below, uh, my email address is there. Um, I am, I implemented a new automated scheduler. So I, I don't even know how I was able to book almost 800 readings last year manually. It ate so much time. It was so inefficient, but it worked. But I found a more efficient way, which I probably should have utilized earlier. Shout out to all the people who sent me calendar schedule, like automated scheduler links. <laughs> I love you guys. You guys were very sweet to say like, you know, to book with me and then kind of hint that there's many more efficient ways to doing this. So I have utilized one of those efficient ways. So now if you email me, I'll send you a link to my calendar. Um, you'll be able to pick the time that's best for, for you based on my availability. The link for the PayPal is there. You'll get an email confirmation with my contact details. You'll even get um, the ability to actually schedule the event in your calendar so you have a little reminder as well. So super efficient, a lot easier to book a personal reading with me. So if you'd like to, see below, okay? Um, but also some exciting news. Da, 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 da. I am launching a Patreon. <laughs> it's about to be lit. So um, I was really wanting or thinking about putting myself out there more. And when I decided that I did want to put myself out there more and deliver more content to you guys, I really wanted, I felt like I wanted to do that for the people who truly resonate with me and fucks with me the long way, right? And I don't want to put any more content in addition to what I'm already doing on YouTube because there's just so much changes happening. We're putting a lot of pressure on creators. There's decks that I have that I can't use on YouTube because of the nature of the, like their sexual images or whatever the case is. And it's just Patreon, because they don't suggest your videos, there's a lot more freedom to what I can post on there for you guys, right? So I'm going to be doing daily general readings and weekly love readings on there, right guys? Um, so yes, and for those that book um, personal readings with me regularly, there's an Oracle membership that is available to you guys that will give you full unlimited access to the Patreon platform, as well as a 45 minute live reading once a month that can't be carried over, but it gives you, it's almost like, you know, you got your Oracle on deck, right? You know, your own personal little Oracle that you can do these monthly check-ins with. But anyways, and that's very, um, that'll be a lot more cost efficient for those that book regularly with me. It's a lot cheaper, all right? So anyways, see below the Patreon link. I'm excited, guys. Let's try this out, see how it works. You know, part of me feels sorry for you guys having to connect with me or see my face every day, but <laughs> for those that fucks with me, I think it'll be quite entertaining. It'll be fun, inspirational. And, um, and yeah, I'm excited. Okay, guys. So, um, but like I said, I'll, when I go on live, um, I'll answer any questions you have. We can talk about it more when I go on the mid month live. All right. Um, I am going to be using a new deck for this month. I'm going to be using the same deck for all the monthlies just cause it's brand spanking new and I love it. And because it's the, um, magic, uh, the tarot of magical correspondence, there is a lot of information on every card. It like it literally will show you the part of the body that it governs, the myth, the mystical number, the mystical being, whether real or not, um, the the stone, the plant, the, the it has everything. So there's a lot of information on every card, and I'm really trying to get well versed with this because it's teaching me a lot. <coughs> and I uh, I'm the type of person who learns as I put things into practice. So excited about that. That's his deck here, the Tarot Forbidden Dreams. Okay, I cannot use on YouTube. It's literally famous renaissance art so it's all tits all ass there's cock there's a lot of sexual images there so that i'll use for the weekly love readings not that the weekly love readings will be surrounded about sex but we will be discussing sex from a very logical practical and mature manner it's gonna be fun all right my beautiful gemini's all right um you guys can timestamp now we're about to get into prayer and get into you guys' spread okay Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, guardian angels, thank you for rising me up out of my bed this morning and thank you for connecting me with the collective every day. Right now in particular, thank you for connecting me with the collective sign of Gemini. 
please allow me to communicate clearly to them the messages that are in their greatest good surrounding their material abundance, sustenance, the relationships closest to them, their personal ascension and development, and any other messages that you deem worthy at this time. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, guardian angels, for everything you do for me and the collective, all the healing energy, the support, the love, the guidance, the protection. We are nothing without it, and we are nothing without you. So thank you, Father God, and amen. A fresh start. A fresh start. I heard you guys made it happen. Some of you guys did what seemed like the impossible or did something that, or completed something somebody told you was impossible. You benefited from something people told you you wouldn't benefit from. You made something happen. That's so cool. Keeps blowing up my bumble clot shit, man. Yeah, you guys made something happen. You went at, you you went against the odds. You took the path less traveled. Like I said, guys, you can show them better than you can tell them. It's like you want to make a believer out of somebody, show them, make them feel you. All right? If they can't hear you, they need to feel you. And you guys did that. Some of you guys really did something. I'm so curious to see what this reading is for you guys. I want I want to know what the fuck you guys did. You guys pushed against opposition. You pushed against self-doubt and external doubt. Six of Wands. Yeah. You showed somebody something. You showed people something. Huh. Some of you are actually being recognized for something that you brought light to. Some of you saved something by speaking up. Some of you avoided destruction or chaos by speaking up and taking a leadership approach. Some of you were witnessing people literally about to sabotage you you guys did something that saved something from destruction some of you are being recognized for taking for 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 taking for for your leadership approach save something like some of you are quite complacent some of you whoever this is hard to explain but it's almost like some of you showed people you were a leader by having to step up to, to get a group of people or somebody to avoid a crisis, avoid destroying something. Some of you guys save something or will or need to. Some of you might see this and think you're not in the position to say something. So you're either assuming the position of watching something, literally crash, burn, or taking the approach to avoid or prevent something from crashing, burning. I don't even know what this is. Anyways, Gemini's, let's... Half of the time, Gemini doesn't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. So it's like, <laughs> I need to... <laughs> All right. Nope. Beautiful Gemini's strength, Leo energy. Yeah, some of you gain the strength to interfere. You guys exerted yourself. Some of the Gemini's I'm tapping into forcefully exerted themselves to save someone, themselves, save a situation, um, avoid chaos. Um, somebody made a poor judgment call around you. Like some of you Gemini's allowed somebody to take the lead and they botched it and you are taking the lead over them. Somebody around you, it could have even been a leader at work or a boss. For some of you, it was a boss and it was very hard for you to exert yourself because you had to overstep somebody. 
but it was like somebody was making somebody in front of you was about to make a very poor decision or was making poor decisions and Gemini, there was a group of Geminis that assumed a leadership position and put somebody in their place, um, relinquished control from somebody in order to steer the boat in the direct, the right direction. It's like, it was like some of you, if like, I'm seeing the Titanic and, if, and some of you, if you were on the Titanic, you saw the iceberg before the captain did. And instead of waiting for the captain to see it and do something about it, because some of you said, hey, Cap, hey, Cap, look ahead, look ahead. And the captain was having a henny on the rocks. He was chilling. You know, he had a cigar. He was fucking around with the cabin staff. Like, he was out to lunch. And it looks like you, Geminis, if you were on that boat, you said, fuck it. And you went and you store, steered the boat and you saved the day. And people might say, hey, what are you doing? What the fuck did you do? And it's like, would you all have rather to die? <laughs> or... You get me? It's that sense. Some of you assumed a position that wasn't yours in order to save something and avoid a crisis. Or at the very least, you were watching somebody really fuck something up and you address them on site to let them know, hey, the way you're going about something is going to cause A, B, and C. There's going to be negative consequences or repercussions for the way you're going about something. Gemini, this could have been towards you. Somebody might have exerted themselves towards you and now you're feeling like your authority is being challenged or um, somebody is challenging you and you need to look at why they might actually have valid reasons for challenging you. For some of you, the challenge is an ego. For others, it's a, it's, um, a warning. Someone's trying to help you. Don't let your egos get you fucked up. Mm. Some of you are determined to find out the truth about something. With the Nine of Wands and the Page of Swords, some of you are determined to find out the truth. Possibly about a partner. Some of you are waiting for information that's going to justify you to leave somebody. And it's like, if you're already thinking of leaving somebody and looking for the information to leave them, you probably have all the information you need to justify you leaving them already. You're just procrastinating and making excuses to not do what seems to be quite difficult. Something that seems to be quite difficult. Finding out the truth. Some of you are actually going to find out that it was somebody's poor decisions that got you where you're at. Some of you were taking responsibility for something that wasn't your fault. And now you might be actually seeing whose fault it really was. Yeah, taking responsibility for something that wasn't your fault. Somebody might have manipulated you to take the fault of something. Like they might have projected the issue onto you. For some of you, your boss might have, for some of you, your boss blamed you for something. Your boss went into a manager meeting and blamed you and maybe HR or somebody took you to a side and you are now realizing that your boss didn't take any accountability for the problem. And now you are in a sticky with the justice card that came out. Now you're in a sticky situation because you may have to go over their head in order to save your own job. Like you might have to go to HR or your boss's boss about that. There's something here. Um, there's like a little bit of malice intent I got. And I think it, what this is, is people are panicking. Not everybody reacts well to chaos. Not everybody reacts well to, you know, um, pressure. And sometimes when people don't react well to it, they offload it. It's like, again, I'm getting the Titanic. You saw the people in the water that didn't react well, right? The people who panicked and then ended up drowning themselves and somebody else, right? Instead of the people who don't panic that save themselves and save somebody else. So there is this, this um, the calmer mind shall prevail. There's this sense of somebody being better equipped to make decisions or lead something during a time of chaos. Like if it's in the home, you know, everybody might have relied on dad or mom to handle things and dad or mom are not handling it well. So now maybe an older sibling or a grandparent or somebody is coming in to assume a position because essentially somebody is not handling something well. For some of you, it's a divorce and it's one of the parents is not handling this well and is actually pissing away money, um, making poor decisions with regards to assets, 
um, spiting their, like cutting off their nose to spite their face. Almost like I'm getting some people are blowing money to try to screw over a partner with regards to some legal situation and you're really just screwing yourself. And somebody might see that and it's almost like Gemini, I'm getting the impression some of you are gonna have to address somebody who, it's almost like a role reversal. It's like seeing somebody in a different way. If you're used to seeing somebody in a very powerful, strong way, very composed way, some of you might be exposed to that person in a different light where they're they're flailing, they're flapping, they're afraid, they're not handling something well. And now you're realizing the dynamic of the relationships changing and essentially you are better suited to be the mind of reason, ration, lead, make decisions, especially around money. Because anybody who's displaying the kind of instability I feel should not have access to cash or at least not any big amounts of cash. I'm also getting the energy of somebody being very spiteful with money, shared money. I'm also getting people, somebody trying to make you jealous with money and that's just going to backfire on them because they're blowing cash they don't really have. So weird. All right, let's get into this. Overall energy for my beautiful Gemini is for December, the magician. The magician. The master manifester. Now, upright manipulation isn't always a bad thing. Being able to manipulate things is a skill. But manipulating at the expense of somebody is where this becomes reversed and devil energy. Manipulating things and your environment in order to utilize and be part of the ecosystem and utilize it for the greater good of everyone, including yourself, is what the magician upright does. Right? So this is fantastic energy. I'm getting a proper utilization of resources. Some of you are looking around, realizing you have everything you need for what it is that you want to do, where you want to go. You know, some of you have actually manifest the money to take something to market, to do something. It's like, yeah, I'm getting the energy. There are a group of Geminis who are looking around saying, I have everything I've got. Some of you are feeling like you have everything you got except for one thing. For some of you, I am getting that it could be love. Wow. Oh. There is shadow energy under this magician. But anyways, let's pull first card out, Ace of Coins. Second card out, Justice. Queen of Wands. I'm getting the impression justice comes in because Gemini's decide to speak up. Like this Queen of Wands isn't going to hold her tongue for shit, especially if she's witnessing a complete shit show. She's watching the blind lead the blind. So this Queen of Wands won't necessarily take a leadership approach, but she will if she has to. So if you look at a pack of dogs, they're always challenging the pack leader. And that's out of sheer fact of if the pack leader isn't able to lead, the next strongest would put, be put in position. So that's the energy I'm getting from the Queen of Wands. This could be you. It's like, I don't need to lead, but I will if I have to. And it looks like you may have to in order to bring in justice or ensure that something stays balanced because you see the potential of extreme imbalance coming in. Um, possible sabotaging behavior. Somebody is sabotaging something and Gemini, if this is you, somebody may call you out on it and warn you. This reading could be a warning not to sabotage something. It looks like the divine's trying to bring in justice, right? Or the divine has already brought this in and either you are being asked not to sabotage this or you are being asked to defend in order for this not to be sabotaged by someone else. I don't know what that means. All right, next card, the Four of Swords. The, king, the Knight of Coins. The Nine of Cups. The Five of Cups. The Star. These cards are absolutely amazing. And then the Four of Swords. For a group of you, somebody knows that... For some of you, somebody's come to the conclusion they understand that they did a disservice to you, a dis, uh, injustice to you. 
maybe just the way they handled something. Maybe they, you know, um, rejected something or there, there, there's some kind of injustice that somebody feels that they've done for you. But that realization only came when they realized that how they dealt with you was truly an injustice to themselves. Somebody botched something. And part of the reason why, so if, if there is any kind of healing and reflection that's done between two people here, it's almost like this injustice that was done to you, Gemini, was not, did not become um, clear or this person was not aware of this until they realized they lost something with you and that they created an injustice for themselves. And then they look further and realize when the reason why they can't just come back and approach you is because they actually did you a dis injustice as well. So it's somebody being really like, the only reason why they're realizing they did you dirty is because they can't return back to get something from you, build something with you. And that seems to be the injustice to them. If that is clear, makes any kind of sense to you. Somebody regrets ignoring an offer to build. This could be you, Gemini. Somebody offered you an opportunity to build, but they did it from a place of the Knight of Coins. And to you, it might not have been good enough. You thought you deserved more. Um, I think you were looking more at the person than you were looking at what they were offering you. And you judged the person prematurely or this person judged you. And essentially, this offer was rejected. This opportunity was not um, taken and somebody regrets prematurely judging you or you may regret that, not seeing the greater opportunity that was being offered to you. You were too busy looking at what this person was wearing, where they came from, you know, nitpicking, being very judgmental, and you totally, or this person totally avoided essentially what the blessing was that was being offered to them. Somebody completely regrets this. They regret with the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups, they regret ignoring this and are hoping that they, so they're healing and reflecting on some heartbreak, but hoping that there is a chance to reclaim this wish fulfillment. Very simple message. That could be you, or this could be somebody about you. That sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Yeah, you snooze, you lose. Um, underneath the magician, you've got the nine of swords. So essentially, I think somebody realized that, remember I said there's something missing, all the things except for one thing. Essentially, this one thing was the pinnacle that you were offering to somebody. Somebody is realizing as they're manifesting what it is that they want, their wish fulfillment with the nine of cups, the pinnacle, right, which is the buy-in, somebody's investment into your dreams, into you to build uh, independently coexist with somebody, they're realizing that they actually chucked that. They rejected it. Somebody is realizing that you offered, you were divinely guided to offer them that pinnacle, which is what they needed to manifest their dreams and desires. So yes, you were the dream and desire, but it was essentially tangibly what is being offered. They weren't, they weren't looking, they didn't see the value in what you were offering. Quite frankly, I don't even think they were looking at it. They were pre, they were judging you. They said, I don't need to look at what Gemini's offering because I can look at you and already see that that's most likely what it was and they were wrong. They didn't realize that what you were offering wasn't actually really, it was divinely guided. You were offering to somebody at the hand of God. So essentially this person rejected God, they didn't reject you. Isn't that a shame? Yeah, union with God. Somebody rejected union with God by rejecting union with you. Ooh, that's heavy. Yeah, so this magician is very stressed because they're at a point where they're realizing that they didn't take the correct action. They they are, they are realizing that the actions that they took negatively impacted their own manifestation. That they didn't, they didn't have a clear understanding of their surroundings, who and what was being offered to them. They, didn't, they were out to lunch. They hadn't honed in on their manifestation skills. Quite frankly, I don't even know how this person was able to manifest anything dealing with people like that. 
But anyways, it looks like somebody regrets that, whether they make you aware of their regret or maybe you're feeling it. You might be playing things in your head and not know why it's because this person is delayed and is thinking and playing all these things in their mind because they're now reflecting over what they rejected and they're regretting it because it's the one thing that they're now asking for. So they're asking God for something and God's not giving it to them because they don't under, they don't realize it was already given to them and they rejected it. So why would God give it to them again if they don't understand what it was they rejected? Well, they'll obviously reject it again now, won't they? So I see that somebody, either this is you or somebody, Gemini, is going through this very painful lesson of learning not to judge a book by its cover, learning not to um, reject people. Because that, who are, who is anybody to reject? You can either opt or opt not. Somebody really is not a very good judge of character here. But they're learning to be. Somebody learned a lot about themselves from rejecting this. Because I think the divine really showed them Stop asking me for something I gave you and you're not acknowledging how you rejected me. I tried to come into union with you and you rejected me and now you are asking me for A, B, and what? This is what I'm hearing. Yeah, somebody, and, and, and this queen, I don't know if this, if you, if this is you, I don't even know if you are aware. I think you might have really moved on. Quite frankly, I think some of you regret offering to somebody who rejected you and you shouldn't. Never Never regret loving somebody. Never regret being your true authentic self. Okay? More so regret not creating boundaries that protects you. You know? Shit. Um, so yeah. Yeah, never regret that. Why well, regret it when this fool is? Somebody who's regretting, like, you don't need to regret it. The person who rejected this, especially in the form and fashion that they rejected it in, should be the ones um, worried. Regretful, sorry. Somebody is, yeah, with the Four of Swords and the Star, somebody is healing from heartbreak, right? Somebody is reflecting natural intelli intelligence and measuring cohesive or receptacular, the vision of love, astrology, and the vision of power. Anyway, somebody is, yeah, somebody is, somebody heard the divine say, I already gave it to you. Like somebody is praying to God for something and the divine is telling you, I already gave it to you and you rejected it. This person needs to go through the awakening and realize why we all have to learn why we reject the things that we want most. And it's usually out of some kind of self-deprivating, um, lack of faith of self, um, lack of faith of wish fulfillment. Like it's all this lack of faith. And that's essentially what this person is learning. This is a very tough part of ascension, right? So, you know, whether this is you or somebody else, Gemini, um, it looks like somebody is really understanding what the value is of people, whether you want to give or receive to them, give or receive from them or not. Not judging people. This is something you guys or someone else is learning through this situation here. These are heavy, heavy life lessons that can cause a lot of pain. Like whoever rejected this, who's now having to reflect on that is in a lot of pain and now have to have faith that they can re-manifest this from a better place that God will give them another opportunity, whether it's with this person or somebody else. Because for some of you, the person who rejected you is going to come back with their hand open, asking for exactly what they rejected. And um, there is a group of you who will say no. Like this person will have to go and learn this lesson with somebody else and hope that they don't make the same mistake. Where for others of you, um, you may allow for this justice to play out in with you and this person again. I'm not sure. Quite frankly, I don't think that decision's made. I think that there's reflection 
This is very reflective. Anyway, I'm going to pull from the Lenormand. Father God, Holy Spirit, Ancestors, Guardian, Angels. Please clarify the spread. The message. <laughs> I'm getting the impression that um, somebody wants, there's a delayed reaction. For others of you, this is um, news about a job opportunity that you've applied for. For some of you, I think you wrote this off because you had applied or gone through the vetting process a long time ago. So for some of you, you might have wrote off an opportunity because you didn't hear back and you may actually get word and hear back. And part of you might want to ignore it because you might have started to entertain other opportunities. So now you might actually be juggling two because one from the past has come back. This could be with regards to a relationship too. You know, you might have embarked in a new relationship and the person who rejected you is coming back with a certain kind of realization or um, a desire to offer to you what they rejected from you. And now you're juggling maybe a new potential um, offer to build with a partner and an old one. But there is some communication that comes in, I believe, about this regret. I believe this communication does is going to feel like justice somehow, regardless of what transpires from the communication. I think the communication alone is going to feel like um, justice is served. Yeah, justice is served. Hmm. Somebody really slept on Gemini their mistake. Somebody is looking back. Somebody is stuck. See, I told you with this, ma this magician, this magician is this guy. And he's stuck. Whether male or female, this person's stuck. And they are realizing that what it was they are manifesting and trying to gain and asking God for, they let, walk, they let pass them by. It was an opportunity to be in a committed, stable relationship with somebody, and they rejected that opportunity, and now they stand alone. This person could be watching this the person they rejected embark in a new relationship and are now going through the heartbreak and having to heal and going through the regret and having to reflect, and that will initiate an awakening in this person themselves. And they'll I'm pretty sure this person will never do that shit again. <laughs> okay. Um... Some, some, some people are thinking about you. They're realizing they may have focused a lot on work and everything else but love. Rejected you, rejected your availability, didn't give you the time, didn't invest in you, kind of let you go um, because you or this person's um, priorities were set elsewhere only for them to realize that this, this is something they truly, really wanted. And now that they're looking at it from a distance when this could have been them. Somebody is saying that could be me. Gemini, some, for some of you, th there's, a, there's a person looking at you in a new relationship saying that could have been me. For some of you, for some of you, this you move to a, a really fantastic new role and your employer is saying we, sh we, that, we fucked up with that employee. We let top talent go and now we're going to have to get a subpar person to cover this person or we're going to have to pay an arm and a leg to get somebody with that level of expertise somebody blew it <laughs> long and short okay um let's pull from somebody is hoping that their luck hasn't run out somebody is hoping that this communication is a lucky break that they get their way that they are able to communicate to you and get across what they want to get across to you Whoa, and the ring is in reverse. Yeah, this was this was what was offered. This was by God. This was union with God. Some, that's fucked. Somebody rejected the person that they were meant to inherit their birthright with. That's heavy. If this is you, Gemini, I'm so sorry. And if this was done to you, I'm still sorry because this is such a shame. This is what the divine works so hard to bring together. And when we reject it, we reject them. We reject the mission. We reject the vision of the future our ancestors are trying to create for us. 
And when they bring us together with people to ensure we don't have to do this heavy mission alone and it's rejected, it hurts everyone involved. Yeah, somebody rejected their person. That's heavy. That's making my heart chakra kind of like feel tight. Somebody is really regrets this. However, they came to this pure and clear intelligence that you, that they rejected what it was that they wanted. For some of you, it was a job. Some of you, your ego allowed you to reject an opportunity that was essentially wish fulfillment and you can't go back now. The rules filled, they're not looking anymore. Your chance is blown. And if that does resonate with you, there's a need to not give up, to connect with God and say, I learned these valuable lessons, Father God, please give me another chance to manifest. And he will, absolutely, right? But what this specific message, like, if this doesn't reconcile in this lifetime, you, you don't get this until another lifetime. It doesn't mean you won't bring in a soulmate. It doesn't mean you won't bring, you won't be in partnership or relationship. But what these people were supposed to do, like this, that's, that's the crime here. This is what the devil energy is trying to do, not bring these people together. Because when they come together, they bring the fucking ants. They bring down the divine. They make shit happen. Do you understand? They are inherited all of their ancestors' wealth and power. They become incredibly powerful. That's a power couple. Fuck money. A lot of these people you consider power couples are so dumb. They don't know what to do with abundance. They have nothing to show for it. They're not real leaders. They're not real le leaders. They would have paid Jim Jones $1,000 a cup to be poisoned and fucking let off astray. They're idiots. These people? No, 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 no. They take their money and they become wealthy. They make other people wealthy. They build infrastructures. They fight devil energy. They tear down the infrastructures, buildings, and economies and communities that the devil have built. They're true spiritual warriors. That's why the devil energy does so much to try to keep them apart. So if both of these people understand what that battle is, there's a chance for them to reconcile with some communication here. But I'm telling you, man, there's a good chance that the person who rejected this feels way too much shame and is going to cut their losses and try to manifest something new once they learn this lesson. Just as well as the person who was rejected is doing that already. Looking forward. Ambitious for the future, right? But anyway, it's kind of sad energy. Can we pull from the clarify with the romance here? Wedding, the situation involves marriage. Yep. Yeah. Children, honeymoon. I think this is what somebody's reflecting on. I think somebody is seeing that they rejected the one, the, the person that they essentially wanted this with. Maybe made a poor choice in love and picked somebody and got there and realized, like, look at his face. You know, that somebody rejected an opportunity to have exactly this. It was rejected. And somebody is extremely regretful about it. This is very heavy. That kind of stuff really hurts me. Anyway, um, we're going to clarify with the Oracle of Visions. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, Ancestors, Guardian Angels, for this beautiful spread for my beautiful Gemini's number 26. That came out right away. Oh, and 17. So I guess we'll read both. And it's funny because we've got a feminine and a masculine here. So I'll read both for you guys, okay? You guys got an extra oracle. That's okay. We're good for time. And I've got a client. No, it's 4.30. So I want at 6. I'm doing good. Okay. Um, 17. Actually, I want to read 26 first because I saw it first. Past and future, fresh start. You have just turned, you, okay, you just have to turn the page. It's tough working what has happened in the past and how close we've been, but you can't dwell on the past. This is the time to rewrite a new chapter for the future. Hopefully we can put ourselves in a position where we'll all be happy. Donovan McDab. 
We are often encouraged to live in the moment, enjoy the present and not dwell too much on either the past or the future. Yet in a sense, the present, the present is the least consequential, conse consequential of the three concepts. It's merely an abstract state that we inhibit, but for an instant. In this frozen moment, the woman balances symbols and endure, of the enduring concepts of time that proceed and follow on from it. On one side is the past, which is now locked and cannot be changed, symbolized by a book on its last page and fully written. But there is also a mirror as the past still provides value as a reference for reflection and for appraisal and lessons learned. On the other side of her, there's a key that will open doors to new opportunities and a blank book ready to be written. Yeah. Doesn't mean, you know, that there isn't anything for you going forward, but I don't know. This is, this is weird. Uh, number 17, balance and equality. If I'm losing balance, I'm in a pose. I stretch higher and God reaches down to steady me. It works every time and not just in yoga. Terry Golomitz. Despite our differences, by changing our position, stance, or direction, we may find a common ground and jointly interact. This process is made easier when both sides participate in unison. A jester performs his dance, strength, and motion combined, and in one instant, he remains frozen in perfect pose. In, in his hands, he balances two masks of opposing shapes. Despite their fundamental differences, his dancing forms positions then them so positions them sorry his dancing form positions them so their position their opposites are transformed and their shapes now morph to one of complementary yin and yang harmony balance by default requires equality of purpose position and desire both sides of a pivotal point must consider the position of the other if one side fails to cooperate balance is lost wow anyways guys that's your reading. I love you guys. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, join the membership as of the first if you feel drawn to. Okay, if you really resonate with me, don't worry though if you don't want to. I'll still do the monthly readings and the mid-month lives on YouTube. Um, but until I see you guys on the live, continue to let your inner angels live, okay? I love you. Ciao.